Hello everyone, this is Gamer, and welcome back to Bear With Me Episode 2. Let's continue where we last left off, shall we? We are at the casino. Let's, um, I guess talk to everyone? Who's that, Ted? Zebra Zack. He's so hot right now. <laughs> wow, they really bring in all sorts of classy acts to perform. Yeah, it's almost as if the owner is going out of his way just to make it seem like he has class. Who's that, Ted? How do you not know Donnie? Should I? Don't you know everyone around here? I do. I just love asking you annoying questions. Hmm. Who's that, Ted? Don't know the guy. Rhino Ron. Who's that, Ted? Susie. She's addicted to plastic surgeries. It's a miracle how she keeps it together. Her life? No. Her face. Oh. Uh -huh. Who's that, Ted? That's Leia. She's a designer from Beaverly Hills. Who's that, Ted? Edward the Elephant. He runs the Paper City Bank. Ted, who's that? It's Ben the Bunny. He's a cousin. I didn't know you had a cousin, Ben. He's not my cousin. Oh. Who's that, Ted? Professor Penguin. Good man. Comes off as cold and distant, though. Who's that, Ted? Miss Kalia the cat runs a beauty parlor. Could use a treatment herself, if you know what I mean. Who's that, Ted? Zebra Zack. He's so hot right now. <laughs> oh. Oh, well, Ted. I didn't know you had a thing for Zack. Well, that's all I'm gonna say. Knuckle Walker. <laughs> I love torches. Should we get it? Sure. There's nothing like a proper fire hazard in your pockets. The West Paw Casino. Shiny and inviting. Wow, they really bring in all sorts of classy acts to perform. Yeah, it's almost as if the owner is going out of his way just to make it seem like he has class. Let's talk to the tin. So, you care? Company policy. So you don't care for me? I don't know you. Fair enough. I'm Teddy Bear. I'm a private snoop and such. Anyways, can you let us in? It's an invitation-only event, sir. Did you just mispronounce the word, sir? Maybe. I'm not a linguist. Okay. So, what do we need to enter? In order for the player to continue, he can speak to the shark's goon once. After he doesn't let them in, they can go around back to the alley behind the casino. There are several boxes in the alley. What are you saying, man? Uh, I'm sorry. I get lost in my own... Um, Thoughts? Yeah, I was going to say lines, but yeah. But you have to let us in in order to advance the plot. Fourth wall jokes don't work on me, guys. Move along. They are kind of hit and miss. Okay, fine. We'll be back. Bye, Mr. Henchman. So long, Mr. Amber. Miss Bayer. Oh my god. <laughs> they say that gray is the new red. We should talk to the monkey first. No getting around him. Literally. Yeah. Dad, are you... Dad, are you by? You had a... Beth, like Betty, and you say it's hot. Alrighty then. Well, that doesn't bother me. Wait, you hear that one more time, just in case? Who's that, Ted? Zebra Zack. He's so hot right now. Alright, back alley. These are empty, Ted. And they're trash. Maybe we could use them somehow. Yeah, maybe. I feel like I still need to do something. Really? Club entrance. This is confusing. Right. Is it the entrance to the club, or is the club called entrance? Talking door. It reads, only numbered boxes to be carried to stage. Hmm. Got an idea. I might. I'm not sure yet. Performance criteria. Looks like instruments and lights and all sorts of stage stuff.
Looks like instruments and lights and all sorts of stage stuff. These ones are marked 13 and 14, respectively. We are not going to look for lamps again if that's what you're going for. <laughs> Amazingly, just trash. These are empty, Ted. And they're trash. Maybe we could use them somehow. Um. These ones are marked 13 and 14, respectively. I feel like we need to do something here. About this. I want to hold on to them a bit longer. Are you sure about that? Uh huh. The perfect camouflage. And then, um. Oh, do we use it on this now? I don't want to waste it. Oh. It's not. How about this? Alrighty. There, nobody will notice the difference. Ready for delivery. Perfect crime. After you, Bear. I mean, really, climbing into trash. Ten minutes later. Wait, are these the boxes we're supposed to bring in? Yeah, they have numbers on them, don't they? Seems a bit strange, though. It looked like trash. Know what's trash? Your attitude, Steven. Your mom didn't think so. Oh, real but sure. No wonder your dad left. Come on, man. I was like nine. Oh, wow. That was uncalled for. What the? Be quiet. Hey, did you hear that? What? Dude, it sounded like a bright ten-year-old girl and an alcoholic teddy bear. Your imagination, man. I swear. Let's go. I have band practice later. Oh my goodness, I can't believe we got in. I thought we were going to get caught. It's all the famous artists who performed here. It's all the... Thank you, boxes. Seems like there's going to be a show tonight. Oh cool, can we stay for a show, can we? Mm. Oh, that's right. <laughs> This stage is literally impossible. Seems like there's going to be a show. Oh, cool. Hmm. Oh. Seems adequate for Paper City. Just be careful it doesn't hit your eye. You mean like a big pizza pie? That's amore. That's amore. <laughs> they really don't serve their purpose here. They really don't serve. Looks like peanuts. Let's go take some nuts. Let's just grab a few of these. All right. Um, anything else to look at? around here. I feel... I feel... It looks delicious. Considering the security around here, a banana might be of use. Leave it. I'm allergic. It's not for you, damn it. Just take this. All right, uh... Cash 
cashier. She handles the winnings around here. But mostly, the losings. Hello, Doris. Oh my, Amber Ashworth, as I live and breathe. Yeah, it's the good old me. Are you a special guest tonight? Um, sure, why not? She's special, all right. Oh, and who's that? Really? You know who she is, but not who I am. Oh, I know. You're the famous detective Ned E. Bear. Yep, that's old Ned. It's Ted. Bless you, dear. Miss Ashworth, how can I help you? We came to see Mr. King. I'm afraid Mr. King is in his quarters. Doing something totally legal, I bet. Ah, ever since Miss Jones left us, he's been more and more secluded. Poor dear, such a shame. Tigran? Well, yes, yeah, such a wonderful woman, Miss Jones. Kind, beautiful, and wise. So wise. Just like you, miss. Wise? Her? Are you sure you know who you're talking to? Hush, Ned. The ladies are talking. Oh, for the love of... So Tigran and King are divorced? Do tell. I'm afraid so, miss. Such a shame. We went to see her earlier today, but we couldn't find her. I guess she wasn't home. Oh, you're looking for Miss Jones? Could you... Could you give this to her? She left in a hurry and must have left it behind. It was a very special gift from Mr. King. What is it? It's a heart-shaped locket Mr. King got her for her birthday. It has pictures inside. I just thought she liked to have it. Sure, we'll take it with us. Thank you, dear. You're just so lovely. Okay, she's lovely and wise and all that. Old lady, how do we get to King? I'm afraid you'll have to talk to his guard over there by the elevator. Poor Grotty, he must be so tired. And I bet he's hungry. Could you two get him something to eat if you find the time? Maybe he'll let you see Mr. King if you're nice to him. Sure, I'll cook him something nice. As if I don't have anything better to do. Just be sure you don't use any nuts. They make him very sleepy. That's... that's really specific. All right, we have to go, doll. Yeah, it was nice talking to you, Doris. Oh, my sisters are not going to believe when I tell them I talk to the famous Amber Ashworth. Release the Kraken! Or, you know, rather, don't. Theo, he's a scientist. I can barely tell the sisters apart. That's Fiora, I think. Wally works at the docks. I guess it's his night off. Should we take a spin, Ted? One in Rome and all that. Well, I'm not much of a gambler, but I guess one spin won't hurt. Huh. I can barely tell the sisters apart. That's Fiona, I think. Oh, the twins. Wow, pretty. Look at the pretty fish, Ted. Percival works in investments. Seems like he's doing a fine job. Fernando is one of the high rollers. Thanks to that inheritance. Mr. Wolf usually keeps to himself. He solves problems. Sebastian? He's a workaholic. He sure looks busy. Social butterfly. All right, nice. Come on, Fortune. Uh oh. Let's not turn this puzzle into a crippling addiction. <laughs> So, we won this token thing. 
Can we exchange it for some cash? Oh no, that's our from stroller to high roller token. It's only good for our ice of spades, ice cream. It's for the kids. Wait, you let kids gamble here? Oh no, that's just one machine, so they don't bother their parents. We also have balloon animals. That's terrible. You're basically teaching kids how to gamble. You know what? I will speak to Mr. King about it. It really sounds a bit shady. You think? So anyway, you want your ice cream? Um, yeah. Chocolate or vanilla? Vanilla. Chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, how about I just give you both? But don't tell anyone, okay? I would take one between the eyes before I'd rat you out, Doris. Oh my, okay then, I guess. Oh my goodness. Did I even get ice cream? Oh, yes I did, wow. You shouldn't play with food. Hey. It'll just make a mess. Someone might get hurt that way. There. Now it's peeled. Good. Uh, that's what the net's in, right? It'll just make a mess. What? You shouldn't play with food. Almost perfect. It just needs the final touch. But it is split. I need to eat this, like right now. It's not for you. Besides, you're allergic, remember? Can I just have a little, please? You can take me to the Paper City General later. Absolutely not. I knew it, but now not split. Let me sigh. Oh my god, awesome. Do I look like I practice healthy habits? Uh, I remember the night King got that hand. I have to hand it to that bastard. He's a really good card player. Going up. Can we take a break? 30 minutes, tops. Nope, come on, Gramps, we'll rest later. <laughs> that living mountain is blocking the elevator. Hello, Mr. Sir. Can we just scooch past you real quick? This is a restricted area, sir and or madam. Please return to the main floor in an orderly fashion and enjoy the variety of our games. In West Ball Casino, everyone is a winner. I'm sure you meant winner. I'm sure you're right. <laughs> Dear God, man, you have to let us pass the president's life. Man. Ted, just give up. Yeah, you're right. Never mind. I'm glad I could help. Please let us pass, Mr. Bouncer, sir. Pretty please. For the love of, have some dignity. Is that a vomit stain on your shoe? It's a wait, is it? <laughs> I'm Special Agent Mulder, and this is Special Agent Scully. We're investigating a strange occurrence around here, with them aliens and whatnot. We need to go upstairs to check for aliens. Sir, I mean, I'm not the smartest guy in the world, but that was really stupid. I... I can't believe... You have to, Dana. The truth is out there. <laughs> I love that X-Files reference. I love that. All right. The shift's here, buddy. You have a good one. It's always us that gets the late ones. Huh, doll? I know, and I'm a mess. And the coffee here is just below any reasonable standard. How do they expect us to work under these conditions? Uh... I'm having a hard time believing you two are bouncers here. How come? Well, you're just so tiny. And she's a girl. Hey, so a girl can't be a bouncer? To be honest, it would be the first one I've ever seen. Well, if you must know, I have a golden belt in karate. That's not even a thing. Girl can't be a bouncer. I could kick your ass. <clears throat> what? Uh, nothing. Forget it. Oh, <laughs> Amber's about to go off. You will let us pass. These are not the droids I'm looking for. And, wait, that's not what I said. It wasn't? What the? You're even too stupid to hypnotize. <laughs> well, I guess we have no choice but to use the dessert. Hey guy, you look like you could use a break. You hungry? Oh, is that a banana split? Sure is. Can I? 
Can I have some? You can have all of it. Enjoy. Thank you so much, guys. I love it. It's so delicious. It tastes like a tree. Then, yes, sir, right away. Well, that just happened. Let's go upstairs before he wakes up. Ew, is that a snot bubble? Gross. Let's go and talk to King. Oh, whoops, sorry. I got distracted. I was looking at my I was looking at the clock on my wall. If it isn't the dynamic duo. King, how's the cover-up? I mean, the casino business. Hi, Mr. King. I love the new lounge. It's darker and much more sinister than the last one. <sighs> Courtesy of my interior decorator, Elsie DeWolf. Extremely talented woman. I'm a bit surprised to see you two here. Yeah, how come? I figured someone like you would be smart enough not to bring the girl into the city. With all the... Recent... accidents? Accidents? <laughs> I just realized you two could have a deep, gravelly voice showdown. Like, who wore it better? Let me ask you something. How did you two enter the city? Seems to me you would need a clearance for that. Who says we didn't have it? <laughs> and who exactly signed that clearance, if you don't mind me asking? We mind. Fair enough. You two didn't happen to come across two little bunnies on your amazing adventures, did you? Oh, no. Uh... As much as I hate them, I don't want them to die. Nope, haven't seen them. Do they work for you now? Mm. In a way. By your disposition, it seems like they're doing a lousy job. Come on, Bear. You know your little tricks won't work on me. It was worth a shot. I would be more careful with the phrasing if I was you. And what was it that the mugshots were supposed to do for you, King? <sighs> Don't you worry about that. How did you two enter my casino? We asked nicely. You always were a bit of a wise guy, Bear. Speaking of that, you say you're surprised to see us here, but I'm not really buying it. It's almost as if someone tipped you off. Have you forgotten this is my city, Bear? I know everything that's going on. And yet you don't know how we entered your casino. Besides, your city, your level of arrogance is unbelievable, speaking like that in front of her. <sighs> I have as much respect and admiration for the girl as anyone. But don't tell me you haven't thought about what will happen in a few years, Bear. The girl, she can only give us so much before she grows up and forgets this place. Paper City needs a strong leader, a representative, if you will. I can take care of the city in her absence. Take care of the city in her absence? You mean the way you took care of the steel mill? <sighs> what are you talking about, Bear? I had nothing to do with that. Mills is a friend of mine. You want Mills out of the picture so you can win elections next year. And you thought this would be the perfect opportunity to pin it on the Red Man. What's gonna happen when your buddy finds out you're trying to cross him? We found your matches at the crime scene together with this voodoo thing. <laughs> Girl, you honestly think I'd be stupid enough to leave all that at the crime scene? Why would I even bother to go there myself? I could just send one of my boys here. Every word that comes out of your mouth is a lie, King. You're a criminal. And you will never be anything more than a criminal, no matter how many fancy suits you own. You brought that red freak to our city, and... 
Ted, stop it. You think I brought that monster to Paper City? You think I'm responsible for all this mess? I'm just a desperate man trying to make sense of all this. Same as you, Bear. We're nothing alike, King. Okay, stop it, you two. Mr. King, we're looking for Flint. We thought he might be here in Paper City. The Red Man knows where your brother is, girl. He told me so. I can introduce you to him. Red knows where Flint is? Don't you fall for his trick stall. He'll say anything just to keep you here. Is this money-making fortress you've built for yourself so important that you've gone and made a deal with the devil? You've made the deal with Red? How could you do that? Look at what he's doing to Paper City. You really are a bad man, King. And a coward, it seems. Look at the mighty Reef King, trembling because of one man. <sighs> I had enough of this. Since our entertainment for tonight came down with a bad case of sore throat, the girl can take her place on the stage. You, on the other hand, I think you can go off in the basement for a while. You could use some time to think things through. You can't keep us here. I need to go and look for Flint. He could be in danger. <laughs> As if you have a choice. Take them away. I don't think so, King. Ted, don't do this! <laughs> Is this supposed to be a threat, Bear? Have your goons take just one step and find out. Ted, please put the gun away. We can talk this through. <sighs> Listen to the girl, Ted. She's only struck me as a smarter of you two. You and me both, buddy. But it's not her holding the gun. Let me explain what will happen next, Bear. My boys will take you down to the basement, and then they'll take the girl to the rehearsal. But don't worry, it's cozy down there. I'm sure you're used to worse dumps than that. The girl, on the other hand, she's already a star, and we can make this her swan song. One last performance before she... leaves. I'm not leaving. Why are you saying that? He's working with the Red Man, Doll. As soon as he separates us, he'll call for him to come and get you. But don't worry, I won't let this happen. King, I swear I will pull the trigger. Tell your men to stay put. Ted, please don't. Oh my god, what should I do? Damn you, King. Damn you. I... I can't do it. I'm sorry, doll. Don't be sorry. You did the right thing, Ted. We'll figure this out. Like always. Mm, so heartwarming. You have nothing to threaten me with, Bear. Now, if you don't mind, it's time to fade to black. This is late game. No more hints, pal. <laughs> Damn it. Let's save here. Alright guys, I'm going to end my video here. If you like this video, please give this video a like. Comment on this video and highlight the game so far. Subscribe to the channel if you see more gaming videos like these. Alright, this has been Gamer. Peace out. I'll definitely see you on the next episode of Bear With Me Episode 2. Bye everyone.